Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another lesson in our grappling and ground fight system. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking through lockdown. Now, lockdown is just basically a manipulation you can use on your opponent when you're in the half guard, or when you have him, sorry, in your half guard. So if you're on your back, he's in half guard, you basically just use it to control his position, prevent him from advancing into full mount or into side mount, and you can also use it for when you want to get into full mount or side mount, because you can use it to lock him down and then roll him over. So, I'll get right into it. So from here, basically, as I say, you want your opponent in your half guard. So initially we're here, and as always, like when you're fighting, you want to control your opponent's posture. He'll be trying to control you, pin you down, so he can obviously get good posture, and then start raining down punches, etc. Your job is to keep him off balanced and offset, so that you can obviously advance yourself to a more dominant position, whether that's the guard, or obviously roll him over, and get yourself into full mount, side mount, etc. so that you're the now uh, the dominant fighter. But with the lockdown, basically, like anything, I'm looking to control Adam's head, his posture, because any time he can get himself upright from here, he can now produce force and a lot of power in his punches. Whereas if he's from here, there's just going to be little digs, but they're not really going to hurt, they're going to annoy him more than anything. So, what I'm looking for is my outside leg. Once I control his posture, I want my outside leg to hook over the inside, so it comes just in the back of his knee. And I look to triangle it behind my inside leg. So I look for across his knee, and then just behind my own. Now at the same time as I do this, I'm also looking for my inside leg to scoop his ankle. So that will just lift his foot up as I get this triangle position. Now, I also will be controlling his head in a moment, but then once I get this, I look to drive my inside foot, wants to go upwards towards the ceiling, and the one that triangles behind the knee, I'm looking to drive downwards away from me, so towards the wall, inside one to the ceiling, outside one goes away to the wall. And basically, once I get this, I go away and up, and that will cause, obviously, enough discomfort to him for him to now think about something else, not controlling me, he's now thinking, shit, my leg's in pain, and he will start to focus on that instead, and that's when you manipulate him and move to your next position. So, from here, if we're struggling a little, I obviously don't have anything at the moment, I'm just maybe just trying to hold him in place so that he can't advance, because Adam will be looking to bring this leg out and over to here, so he's now in full mount, or, if he comes back, he'll be looking to go the opposite direction, so that he's now in side mount and can control me from here. So my job initially is just to hold him in place, whether that's by obviously closing my guard or just holding him, pinning him, etc. That's what I'm looking to do. So whilst we're fighting, we're struggling here, he's trying to pin me, I'm trying to get his posture. So I always grab behind the back of the head and keep pulling him down to me. And at the same time as we do this, so if we struggle, we're here, I'm looking to get back. And once I get it, as you hear it, it's painful. So now once I extend him away, cause the pain, I can obviously either just use it to stay here and control him, or I will look to move to another position. So I will drag him down. Now, if I want full mount, what I do is I control the posture, and I look to turn his head away slightly. Because now when I drive away on this opposite side, the turn of the head is what, will you, is what I will use to obviously take him off of me. So I will stretch away, this shoulder I pull down towards me, I turn his head away and I start to extend away and push against this shoulder with my forearm as I stretch this out. So there's the pain, I control and I twist. That's where I now obviously have the advantage, I can move him over. This inside leg is the one that drives over the top, straight over into full mount. So if we come away from the camera, I'll just show you it from here. So, if we're struggling, Adam's trying to control me so he can hit me, I look to get him down, I take this. Now once I have this, I drive. He's now away, and I would instantly, I would normally pause here, this inside leg that's hooked on his ankle, the one that drives over, I'm now here. I then look to control the arms, etc., so that I can get inside and obviously dominate him, and obviously hurt him instead of being stuck on the bottom, and being the one that's getting hurt myself. Thank you. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple manipulation once you've sort of played with it a bit. 
as I say, the outside leg wants to hook over the knee joint, inside one hooks the ankle, extend up and away. And that would just place the pressure on his calf and the ankle joint, and he should find it pretty uncomfortable. If it's not uncomfortable um, or painful in the slightest, then you basically haven't put it on properly. So you're gonna to have to keep playing until you get it. Then you can use it to move yourself to another position or obviously just to control it in your half guard so that you can then move into other things such as the electric chair, which we'll show you in another video, or, or other man manipulations that you may already know or, or you're going to learn. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next lesson. So, did you like this video? If so, subscribe to our channel. And of course, feel free to share this video with all of your friends and family or anybody that you feel may benefit. And if you'd like access to additional health and or performance advice, get yourselves over to titanhealth.com and sign up for email updates.